Hello everybody, I'm that common rare guy and welcome to episode 3 of Toku Explained. So, in this episode of Toku Explained, I'll be talking about my favorite common rider, common rider Wizard. So, I'll be specifically talking about the Please Ring. So, the Please Ring is a ring that Wizard can use to share his mana, because he's a wizard, with other people, but more specifically so, quick little talk about some of the lore of Wizard. It's nothing major. It's not really any spoilers if you haven't seen Wizard, which I recommend. So, in the world of Wizard, there are these people called Gates, who are people who can use magic. Now, not everybody's a Gate. Only certain people are Gates who are born with the natural ability to use magic, but usually they can't access it without a driver or a lifetime of training. Now, anyways... When someone gives into despair, they lose something really valuable to them, or something horrible happens to them, or in the case of Haruto where it's forced, they crumble apart and their despair manifests into a phantom. The phantom is the manifestation of their magical energy and it takes over them, killing them in the process. No joke. <laughs> so. In Wizard, Haruto is the Wizard of Hope, and he is the one who combats the phantoms, either killing ones who have already manifested, I should probably say defeating for YouTube's sake, or preventing people from becoming a phantom. So when someone's about to become a phantom who's a gate, they something horrible happens, or they lost something really precious to them, uh, their body starts to break and fall apart as the phantom's energy leaks out from them. And then Haruto uses the Please Ring to open a gateway to where he can travel into someone's inner world. Now this inner world is... The best example I have is like in Bleach, when Ichigo talks with Zangetsu, or when other Soul Reapers talk with their Zanpakuto. It's like that. Each world is unique to the individual, and no two phantoms are ever the same, unless they're artificial, but that's a story for a different day. Anyways, what I'm specifically talking about the Please Ring is why people wear them after Haruto defeats the Phantom. So, when he goes into someone's world, he combines with Dragon, who combines with his bike, and he delivers a devastating Dragon Rider kick to the Phantom, destroying it, and then the people are left wearing the Please Ring. They leave it, and the question is, uh, I've also been asked, as a Wizard fan, by people who are just curious, why do people still wear the ring if the Phantom's gone? Well, that's the thing. Phantoms are physical manifestations of people's sorrow, despair, and often hatred. So a Phantom, if it doesn't manifest and take the life of the person it manifests from, it's not permanently gone. A phantom could still manifest later on, and actually almost happened to Haruto in the story of Wizard. Like midway through, um, not midway, but when he achieved his final form, he nearly gave into despair and Dragon almost took over. So, the reason why people wear the Please Ring is it's like a seal. Think of it like a magic seal on something to keep something locked away. Now, the, the people who are gates can't often access their own magic. Again, usually they need training or a driver or some other third party uh, so something. They need something to tap into their magic. So, they wear the please ring as extra protection because, say, something crazy happens or um, what they held on to to keep them from going to despair, they lose it. That the, then the Phantom could very well manifest again. There's actually a novel that I couldn't read or get my hands on uh, because it was never translated to English and I don't know if it's available outside Japan. I can only find copies of it digitally and again, there's no translation. But I asked a friend of mine who has read almost every Kamen Rider novel because there's a lot of them out there. <laughs> and there, it's a story where someone loses their please ring and they give in to despair again and a phantom is born from them. It's actually a very, from what I explained to me, it's a very emotional story and I really wish it could be translated one day. But yeah, the, the writers of Wizard also want to dedicate at least one or two episodes to explaining the importance of the please ring. But unfortunately, uh, the main producers at the time scrapped the idea because they th thought it was unimportant or irrelevant. 
So yes, people wear the please ring as an extra barrier to keep the phantoms from manifesting again. And the ring is fed with their natural uh, mana. You know, the, because they're gates, they have access to it, they just can't really use it. And yeah, that is why people still wear the please ring even after Haruto has defeated their phantoms. All right. Yes, that's all I had for now. Uh, that was just a quick little explanation. And uh, if this video does well, I'll do another Toko Explained episode in the future. And if you guys have a specific topic you're curious about, uh, put it in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys want to know about. And this also would give me time to really do some deep dives into other aspects of Kamen Rider. But anyways, that's all I got for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, don't forget, it's always Henshin Time.